So I have a scene here, uh, nothing too drastic, it's just from the asset store. And I also have a third person controller right here, in this case it's the standard assets, and it's Ethan. And the main camera is currently looking straight at him, but we want the camera to follow the movement of wherever our character moves to, without actually moving its position right here. So i.e. if he walks over here, we'll make the camera look at him all the way over here. So it's actually a lot easier than what you think, and I think the style of this is kind of cool because a lot of older games did this, but we'll see where this goes now. So right click, create C sharp script, and we'll call this cam look. And then we'll open it up in Visual Studio. So there's not a lot to this code at all. It's just a couple of lines, and those couple of lines simply enable the camera to basically pivot and look at wherever our character is actually moving to. So, like I say, it's a couple of lines of code. Nothing too drastic at all. So, while we wait for this to load up, uh, I want to briefly explain that the idea of having a camera look at a player and not following it is a different style of script. You would actually have to have a separate following script, and I do have a couple of tutorials on camera following. So, at this point, what we'll do is get rid of any annotations and void start because we do not need them. We do need a game object as a variable. So game object, and we'll call it the player, semicolon. And the simple trick is transform dot look at and in brackets, the player, if I can spell it right, dot transform. Now there is one thing to note here, the capitalization transform is lowercase, the L and A is uppercase, and obviously your variable is however you have dictated it up here. So save that script, and it is just as simple as now attaching that script to the main camera, once Unity has had a little think. Perfect. So attach the main camera, click on the main camera, locate the script, and then just attach the third person controller or whatever controller you have to there. And it's worth pointing out that this can be used with any controller, absolutely anything which can be moved in Unity. So whether it's a third person controller, whether it's a cube, whether it's a car, it could literally be anything. As long as it moves, you can control it. This will look at it, no problem. So let's press play and have a look. So there we go. There is our camera moving around, following our player. Awesome. Like I said, it's as easy as that. A lot of people do get confused and think scripting can be quite difficult, but literally three, two, three lines of code has now enabled us to do this. It's, it's as simple as that. So guys, that is how we can actually get this together. And quite frankly, as I say, you can do this with any controller whatsoever.